Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to model a character like this. And in uh, future classes, we will look at how to texture map the character, rig the character, and create some cool animations. This is a very simple character, uh, a low poly one, where you can see that it has very few faces. And let us get started and create this uh, simple character so that we can learn how to texture map rig and animate the character okay so let us get started with a default setup that you might have on your screen when you start blender okay the first thing i'm going to do is um, go to edit mode right click and sub gy okay so we're going to use a cube We'll move it up go to edit mode again we're going to click on this button so you can uh, see uh, select all the vertices in the back as well okay uh, if this is off and if you select vertices the back ones don't get selected so you have to turn this on x-ray mode and we will only model half the character and the other half will be mirrored. So I'll delete, hit the delete key on the keyboard and delete vertices. Okay. Now we need to extrude our legs. So we will first create an inset. Okay. And then scale the inset. So we get a square. Okay. So this is going to be our leg. And then we will extrude it a little bit. Then we will extrude it again. Then we'll extrude it one, two times. So that becomes the knee. Then we'll extrude it again. And then extrude it one more time. Okay. So if you go to the vertex mode and go to the front view, you will see that I created one line here. This is one line, then three lines for the knee, and then two lines uh, for the foot. Okay. Then we'll select this polygon and extrude it once, extrude it again for the foot, then we'll extrude it one more time, and then one more time. Uh, these extra lines here, so we'll go to vertex mode again and view viewpoint right. So again, uh, to create a sharp crease here, I have added one line here, and this is for the uh, for the toes to animate. Okay, so this is actually the basic uh, setup for our character. Now we'll go to object mode select the character go to modify panel and add a mirror modifier okay you get the mirror if your mirror is not working then you can try Y or Z okay in my case X is working fine so now when you add a mirror modifier and if you go to edit mode whatever change you make here will be affected on the other side okay so that way we can only focus on half of the character and the other half will be uh, mirror the other modifier we are going to add so we'll go to object mode again and we are going to add a subdivision surface modifier and you can see the 
final look of the character and then what you can do is you can go to object shade smooth so this will be the final look of the character now we will sculpt this character so it has some nice features so we are going to make like a larger feet and thinner legs and a circular uh, body come head okay so i'll go back to edit mode and when you go to edit mode you can see that you have the access to the underlying geometry we will start sculpting this out so we'll give a round shape to our character by moving vertices out you'll shift select these two and scale them out okay so basically i have moved and then if you go to view viewpoint front oh, view viewpoint right okay you can see that we need a round shape here so you can select these vertices and move them down okay you can select this 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 and this now from here on how you modify the character is up to you but I'll just get some basic shape here we want really thin legs and a bigger looking body so we'll start sculpting things all right so now we need to select this edge we go to view viewpoint right okay so we go to this 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 select all these lines and then we'll extrude scale him out so we get a rounder shape there for the leg okay then we will go to edge mode view viewpoint right select all of these and i think what has happened is we need to select these and we need to select this one and this one and I feel that it is kind of big so I'm going to scale it small in the two axis so it is thinner okay then the knees select the knee area and then we will scale this down okay you can even scale it in all the axes in the middle we'll scale it out and then we can select we can actually select all these three edges scale it in and the middle one can come out a little bit to create that knee area okay that's it at the bottom we need a flat base so we will select the edges all of these edges to select all of these edges so this is the select tool and then sometimes I am coming from 3ds max so they have move and select so I in move tool and try try to select and things get messed up so I, I go back here and then select it again so it's a matter of getting used to a new software right click and subdivide 
when you get back to vertices deselect select them and then you can look here and see how far you down you want to go you don't want to go too far to make it sharp so that looks good okay so you get the sharpness there now the toe part is little skinnier so what we will do is select this or we can use this so this one ship select this one And then we can scale it okay don't scale in this way because then it will move up we want all these to be on the ground flat okay, so we will just scale in this direction so it is thinner here and then we will select this one and we want this to be big not just that but this also So this has to be big and then we will move it further up we need to move the other one so we'll go to vertex oh, same thing these vertices we will scale them wide as well then we'll select the top ones and move them up I think this needs to be longer and this one can come this side a little bit if you are in here you can also hit the B key and then you get the move tool and also you can then select I think that looks good so it is and then I feel that the leg is kind of tall the foot so we will scale it up so it gets thinner okay and then as I said this is a sculpting part so you can keep sculpting to see what you like for your character but we want to keep the joints as thin as possible and add some bulges here and there so the character looks cool okay all right i still think he is too bulky here And that's about it so the character is ready I feel that the legs are kind of short so we can make the legs a little longer so you can select this move it out then select this part and move it out okay and if you go to object mode that is your character okay you can spend more time to make it look the way i think the feet can be wider so let me do that edit mode select how much area should i select maybe just this part i want this to be wider Okay. That's good enough. You feel free to change the proportions the way you want, but I am happy with this character for now. The legs can be narrower also. let us scale this so we need to 
scale it in all the axes and move it down then you can go to view viewpoint right and make sure that it's a straight line at the bottom okay this one what you can also do is select this bottom line click on scale and click scale here okay you can also do the same thing here if you want and then scale it straight and then we will make the knee skinnier then we need to scale that part so view viewpoint front maybe front is easier to select I'm using the shift and middle mouse to pan so you can select these areas and then scale them in That's about it. Our character is ready. Nice thin legs, big feet, and a circular body. If you want, you can simply add a skinnish color material to it. And then what I did was increase the roughness and reduce the speculum okay can be a little darkish that's about it we, in the next class we will rig the character and then move on to animation